making their lists, of course. We're talking about the kids, and they're looking for some of those uh, hot uh, gift ideas that are out there. Well, global toy and game expert Renee Rice is back with us here on the program, talking about the hottest Black Friday toys we can get at good prices. Good morning to you, Renee. Hey, good morning, Dean. Great to be a part of your show. It's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for being with us. And let's just dive right in. Let's talk about uh, building and uh, construction toys to start. Okay, well, families are looking for products that encourage STEM learning, science, technology, engineering, and math. So kids will love construction sets. They, younger kids um, have fun practicing real-world activities. They use their imagination to create entirely new worlds. For example, the Lego Duplo Family House, it's designed for a child's smaller hands to develop motor skills and introduce kids as young as one and a half to the Lego building. So these bricks are twice the size of a classic brick for the younger kids. And of course, there's endless possibilities. There's loads of elements and there's colors and it sparks their imagination. So they're learning how to stack and build and role play while they're acting out everyday life situations. Yeah, and I'm so glad you brought up STEM. STEM is very big in our neck of the woods here, Iowa, Nebraska, Missouri, and Kansas, the science, technology, engineering, and math. So isn't it great that we're finding toys out there that, uh, you know, that are really helping our kids build for the future? Yes, and there's so many different ways to do it that this is something you younger kids can do. And then as we move through, you'll see that we have some other toys that also are teaching those kind of products, those kind right, of skills. Building and construction toys are out there. How about some of the hot board games for a fun family night? Well, social gaming is really hot right now. That's another new trend. And playing games is a great way to bond as a family over the holidays. So there's a game called Catch the Fox by Goliath Games, and this is really fun. It was named Toy of the Year in France, and it brings laughter to the family. So, for example, there's this greedy fox, and he's snapping up all the chickens. He's stuffing them into his pockets. But when there's too many chickens, his pants fall down. The chickens go scurrying across the table, so it keeps everyone guessing. And you have to grab these chickens and put them back into your chicken coop to save them. Once you have five, you win the game. That's great. How about outdoor fun? Uh, folks need to get outside more, get off of their laptops, get out of their devices, things like that. Get out and get some exercise. What do you have? Well, getting kids active is really fun, and getting them hours of enjoyment and things that they're going to do a lot is even better because it keeps them going outside. So we have passback sports footballs. So these are, it's a one-of-a-kind training tool. You throw it like a regulation football, but it's engineered to hit a surface, and it comes spiraling back at you. So you aim the flat side of the ball to any wall surface, and you'll be amazed. It just boomerangs right back to the person who threw it. So it's really like having that perfect practice partner when nobody else is around. Mm -hmm. All right, getting some exercise at the same time. Yeah, and we it just comes want to stay in on the, three sizes. On the STEM theme with Renee as well. What about robots? You have some robots in the mix? Well, we don't have a robot, but we have augmented reality and virtual reality. So we okay. have something called a Merge Cube, and it's a three inch cube. It's an award winning 3D augmented reality cube, and you use it with your smartphone or your tablet. So the cube, it allows kids to hold a digital holographic object in the palm of their hand because they activate the games and the characters with their tablet or their smartphone. So many kids, as you know, are hands-on learners, just like me. And this is really enhancing their learning experience in a fun way that makes it relevant to them. They'll remember it. So what you do is you download either free or paid apps, and then you activate it with the cube. So you can have, for example, a skull, and the skull rotates. You can see the front, the back, the sides. You can see all the different lobes. It calls out all the different lobes of the brain. There's a rotating labyrinth game where you can turn it, um, and the ball moves across, so you have to make sure you don't drop the ball. There's a solar system where you've got the sun and all of the planets rotating around it just in the palm of your hand. That's what makes it so exciting. And it's all for under, 50, you know, for under $15, and it's at most major retailers, including Walmart. Hmm. Would this be in the STEM, STEAM category, or is that something different? Well, it, actually, it's augmented reality, and it's teaching kids about 3D perception. And, okay. you know, so it's really teaching them about 
Um, you know, and, and some of the, the tools, like the solar system, is teaching them about the solar system and how it rotates and how you do things. So it is teaching about science in that way as well. Yeah, yeah there's some connections, no doubt. All right, good stuff with Renee Rice, Hot Toys and Games on Kids List that they can actually learn from as well, which we really like. How can people learn more about what we talked about this morning and uh, go out there and get some of this good stuff? Well, Dean, they can go to dailylounge.com where all of these toys have a description, a picture, a website where you can go learn more information about them. So lots of fun ways to play. You say dailylounge.com. Yes. All right. Renee, thanks for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Okay. You too, Dean. Thank you for having us be a part of your show. Uh-huh. Renee.